Welcome to Fatima's Art Show. Do you know what I'm gonna tell you? I'm gonna tell you to put your brushes down and pick up some palette knives. I just think they're so wonderful and they create completely different texture with the paint and a beautiful, beautiful surface on your painting. Completely different than brush strokes. So I thought I'll share kind of my knowledge with you today and hopefully it will help you experiment with using the palette knives and um, give an idea on how to use them because a lot of people are so used to using the brush and they forget that a lot of artists have achieved amazing paintings beautiful textures by using palette knives so I just thought I'll cover that today hope you enjoy just squeeze some oil paint straight from the tube here on the table and I've got different uh, palette knives this is a beginners episode so I'm just going to show you a few things I'm not going to go in depth too much because um, I don't want to overwhelm you but um, so I'm going to be mixing some of the colors here so I've got here um, the red and I just love oils because they're nice and thick you can also use acrylics for this it'll work perfectly fine I'm gonna mix a kind of orange color in, in the middle there so I've got my three colors you can almost use it like a, a little mixing device <laughs> okay so I've got it nicely there the first technique I'm going to show you is just by putting some paint on this palette knife I'm going to be using it to create a smooth sort of texture. Can you see that? So I'm just scraping it all the way across the page. And I'm just scraping it. So you can use it. Now I always talk about how sort of the palette knife creates texture, but also the palette knife can be smooth. You can use it sort of to create a smooth look. So as you can see, just by scraping it here, I've just created a nice, smooth, lovely finish there. Can you see that? That's absolutely beautiful. So here you go, a nice, smooth kind of finish. Can you see that? It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. The next one I'm going to show you is the one with the straight palette knife, or so the straight um, edge palette knife. And... Um, this one I think is great for if you're doing sort of grass, um, if you're doing patches of grass and you can create textures like that. Can you see that? That's beautiful texture there and it's just done with the end of the palette. Now if you get a smaller one, you can create a lot more smaller sort of strokes. So all I'm doing is this. So the next one I'm going to do is with the slanted edge one. So you've got a nice lovely slant. And I'm just going to be taking some paint here. I love this one because it's nice and free and you're just kind of being all free, carefree and you're just what you're doing, you're just kind of scraping your palette knife all the way into different kind of directions. You're being really rough with it you're just being so creative with it you're not thinking too hard um, so it's just amazing because I just love that about it um, I love the freeness with the palette knife with this one you're quite free you can, you're able to kind of move it all the way around move the palette knife in all directions just be completely free can you see that that's a completely different um, texture there so like I showed you I just was completely free and I just kind of whoosh, 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 I love it I just absolutely love it it was just completely random and I love the randomness of that one with the final one I'm gonna show you it is I'm just gonna scrape my palette knife just like that just I just as I did with the first one okay Then I'm going to put kind of a dark layer on the top, so I'm just going to be quite rough as I did with that one. And I'm just going to put like a dark layer on the top there. So just be quite sort of rough. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's just beautiful the way it is, isn't it? Okay. Now, with this one, I've got this palette knife, which has kind of like a pointy top. And this is the great thing about it, I can scrape the surface and I can create my very own sort of design. I'm just doing a random doodle at the moment. 
but yeah you get the point it is almost like you're scratching you're etching the surface and to reveal what's underneath so you put the base color underneath and then you put some more paint on top and then you just use um, your palette knife and you can create all sorts of things sometimes it's also good like if, you're, if you've got a painting and you just want to add that little bit of detail and you just want to kind of scrape um, the surface of course you can use a smaller palette knife and that will get sort of smaller streaks um, but you get the gist of it so yeah so you just kind of create that lovely sort of scratch on the surface so there you go can you see that I did go completely crazy because I'm doing it um, as a kind of example so I'm gonna have to be perfect um, so I'm just looking forward to creating some lovely art pieces by using these four techniques and just experiment at home and see what beautiful paintings you can do by using these four techniques and I hope you enjoyed that and you know what I want to say to you before I go I want to say to you that you can use anything anything to paint and um, you can use different tools you can in kind of invent your own tool you can do whatever you want that's what's so wonderful about art you can paint by making your own rules and with your own materials and your own tools it's just so wonderful so do experiment don't limit yourself don't feel like oh I have to paint with this no you can make your own rules in art I hope you really enjoyed this episode take good care of yourself as always bye bye